Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel. Nagpunta rito at then join sa devotional natin the other night. God bless and shout out to Himawari Vlog, Anthony Paul TV, Christian Copina, Mary Grace Dawayan, Rizal Joy Talaman, Jerick Jed Mendez, Rizim Dawn Bartis ba Garcia, Teris Angel Benedicto, Scarlett Naelga, Devs Bilia, Timians TV, Cory Store Channel, Bonski TV, Michael Aburita, Ismami Rose, Pamilya Laagan Channel, Artists and Art, Jocelyn Custodio. Guys, two days more to go. Birthday ko na talaga, no? Kaya sa mga gustong mag uh, donate for the feeding program, birthday ko sa Friday pero yung feeding program will be done on Saturday, no? Doon ako mag focus. So if you want to be blessed, bless uh invest your money for the fatherhood of God's kingdom. And I know the money you invested in this course will be multiplied. Sabi nga ni Lord, 70 times 7. So, I want you to be blessed also, guys. Hindi lang yung ako ang ma-be-blessed, no? Okay, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open the Bible to Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 20. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 20, says, no, this is about Peter's confession of Christ. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciple, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you? he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For this was not revealed to you by man, but by the Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter. On this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be, bind, will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he warned his disciples not to tell everyone that he was the Christ. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Yes, Father God, because of what we hear from others mouth of God we really believe that you are the God the Christ the Savior the reason oh Lord Lord I pray that even as we create a relationship with you may you also make us like Peter the rock you have made Peter the foundation of some things oh Lord God in this world do the same to us oh God that we may also grow spiritually unto you oh God Lord, it's true, God, that whatever we bound here on earth will be also bonded in heaven. And what we lose here on earth will also be lost in heaven. Lord, lead us that we may go unto you even as we move on to this devotional. Yes, Lord, you commit all these things to you, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, so... <clears throat> The, the first verse we have for this evening is found in Matthew 16, verse 18, and it says, I tell you what you are, Peter. 
that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hates will not overcome it. Amen. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is The Bell. Jackson dreamed of becoming a U.S. Navy SEAL from early childhood, an ambition that led to years of physically disciplined and self-sacrifice. He eventually faced groiling tests of strength and endurance, including was referred by the trainees a hell week. Jackson was physically unable to complete the exhaustible training and reluctantly rang a bell to inform the commander and other trainees of his choice to leave the program. For most, this would feel like failure. But in spite of the extreme disappointment, Jackson was later able to see his military failure as preparation for his life's work. The Apostle Peter experienced his own form of failure. Failure. He boldly proclaimed that he would remain loyal to Jesus even to prison or death. Yet later, he wept better the after he denied that he knew Jesus. But God had plans beyond his failure. Prior to Peter's denial, Jesus informed him, I tell you that you are the Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hates will not overcome it. Okay. Are you struggling with a failure causing you to feel unworthy or unqualified to move on? Yes, ako guys, meron. Parang backlog sa sabi pa, no? Na, na, na. Marami akong backlog na pinagsisihan ko. Marami akong backlog na still I'm uh, looking forward to make it true. No? Na ma-achieve ko talaga yung pinaka-dreams ko. Gaya ng sinabi dito no? sa kay Jackson. So yun, no? Okay. Don't let the ringing bell or of failure cause you to miss greater God's greater purpose for you. Amen. And I really stand on it. That's why no matter how much I ano, I fail, still I'm serving God, no? Na ano lang talaga, there are discouragement pero ano lang, move on lang tayo. We must go on, no? Uh, marami tayong failures, marami tayong mga uh, ano, hindi na achieve na mga goals, but yet God has a purpose of it, no? So, let's continue serving God. If we fail to this area, then we have to move on to other area. Marami naman tayo ng area sa life, di ba? Okay, so dapat pagamit pa rin tayo kay Lord, no? Uh, wag tayo mabahala because everything is in control by God. I guess as I proceed to the two question, what did you view as a failure in your life that God used to help you grow in Him? So, still sa finances, guys, no, na, uh, because of this, parang natuto akong to live by faith, no, na ipagdasal talaga yung mga needs ko, yung mga pangailangan ko, and I praise God. Uh, people, uh, God use people to provide my needs, no. God uh, provide instances, situation that uh, will lead to the provision of my needs. Kaya, I'm still counting on the blessings, no of what God has done for me. No? So, yung mga amazing graces ni Lord, no? amazing grace, yun, count your blessing in me one by one. Yan, ay, mga favorite songs ko yan, kasa, kaya every time na I don't have anything, I just sing out the song. I just remind God of His amazing grace. No, I just remind God of the many blessings na binigay niya sa akin. And then, God will really provide. Okay, second question. Why is it vital for us to find our identity in how God views us? Yes, kailangan yung identity natin magiging godly talaga. No? Na, uh, God knows us inside and out. God knows our thought. Uh, God knows what comes up on our mind. God knows our emotion. God knows our action, and God knows everything. Alam niya yan. Kaya, praise God, we have a God na nag-ano sa atin, no? na leading us, and then uh, very adjustable kasi si God, no? no matter how much we sin, 
Yun. Pero wag nating ano hintayin yung panahon na maubos yung grasya niya para sa atin, no? Let's move on serving God. Let's not uh, do what Jackson had done na nagrin siya ng bell na pinaalam niya na he will stop, no? So yun, move on lang tayo. Let's keep ourselves moving with God. Okay guys, let's now pray. God help us to use every circumstances, even our failures, for your glory and honor. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, failure is never final. Success is never ending. Failure is our great teacher. Amen and amen. Guys, God bless us all. This is again Richard Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit hanggang sumuli. Paalam!